This is how things are made, from suitcases to ice creams and everything in between. Prepare to be amazed. Watching ice cream bars being made is almost as fun as eating them. In one smooth motion, the ice cream is sliced to size while a paddle stick is seamlessly inserted. Onto the production line, these identical ice creams are then dipped into liquid chocolate to coat them in a delicious cracking shell. Finally, they're packaged and sent your way. No, this isn't a wizard's luggage factory, but the process of wrapping these suitcases does look kinda magical. In reality, it's being pushed from beneath and vacuum sealed to create the textured wrap. Building a house used to take months. Now thanks to 3D printing, one can be built from the ground up in just 24 hours. Using a downloaded design and a crane system that extrudes concrete, a full house appears in no time. No, this isn't the factory where 2000's Justin Timberlake's hair is made. This is a ramen cup noodle production plant, the place where the staple diet of every college student comes to fruition. The whole process from baking the noodles in set portions to adding the many different condiments, it's all done in this one factory. Spicy meat. Yeah, boy. This is the mesmerizing production line of your favorite ice cream sandwich. Every block of ice cream is precisely cut and dropped on a cookie before being sandwiched by another. It's so simple yet so satisfying. Everyone's used a pencil before, but have you ever thought about how they're made? For such a simple tool, the pencil production line is nothing short of amazing. The whole process is 100% automated to the point where they even sharpen themselves. You know those tiny decorative ribbons you put on top of birthday presents? Well, they're also made in a factory. You can watch the whole ribbon form right in front of your very eyes. At this donut factory, almost everything is done by hand, from mixing and kneading the dough to cutting out portions and deep frying the result. From there, it's either a trip to be glazed or dipped in one of many different toppings on offer. I hope the police officers are hungry. Tasty. Toilet paper rolls always start out much longer before having to be cut to size. For most people, it's safety first, making sure their hands are clear of the saw blade. Then there's this lady, who obviously wants to knock off early on Friday. Domino's Pizza, look out! There's a new Robo Pizza maker on the scene and he's cooking up some pretty delicious pizza. Not only does it toll the dough, it applies and spreads the tomato base before adding cheese. While there are still a few human helpers adding additional toppings, the rest of the ride into the oven is completely automated. All LEGO characters start off as a series of blank yellow heads, but every head needs a face, torso, arms, and legs before they can be shipped out. The whole process creates tens of thousands of LEGO men and women every day. Creating the inner soles of your favorite flip-flop may be a manual process, but using a template cutter and a hydraulic press can make thousands of foam soles every day. Don't be fooled by what looks like slow blades spinning on this slicer. It's actually spinning so fast that the camera can't even keep up. Check out the hundreds of wafer-thin slices of fruit flying off at breakneck speed. In this factory, hundreds of perfect portions of puff pastry dough are produced every minute. They even use lasers to track the dough along the conveyor belt. If you'd asked me to describe how fine china bowls are painted, I would have never imagined this thing. It doesn't look like it should work, but it definitely does. Even shoelaces go through a complex process that involves 20 individual spools of cotton being braided through a small hole. Then it's up to you to tie your shoelaces properly. Rather than braiding hundreds of feet of cheese by hand, this oddly satisfying machine does it all for you. Three tubes constantly tumble over each other to create the perfect pattern. Applying powder coat to metals is a job that looks like a lot of fun. A quick dip, roll, and shake in the powder and you've got a brand new green coat of paint. No paintbrush or paint required. This harvesting machine takes all the backbreaking work out of collecting and sorting your crops. Spinning blades slice everything from the roots up before shredding and splitting the fresh mulch into a waiting truck. People used to spend hours hand wrapping parcels of meat into pasta pouches for your favorite ravioli. These days an automated production process pumps out perfect pieces every time. While old school bakeries still exist, these massive production lines can churn out thousands of bread rolls every hour. From mixing and rolling the dough to shaping and scoring them before baking, everything from start to finish is automated, even putting them in a crate for delivery.
I hate to ruin the magic, but that beautiful wood grain you think you have on your decorative beam? It's nothing but impressive paint trickery. Cheater! Creating long sheets of chicken wire fencing involves a massively complex system of spinning wire spools, a large roller, and constant twisting to get the perfect chain link fence. This pasta factory setup makes it easy to cut long strands quickly and all at the same length. All you need is a pair of scissors and a good sense of timing. But be careful, if you're not quick enough or you stop paying attention, there could be a spaghetti jam. This super intelligent fish rating system sorts all incoming fish by weight. Once a certain weight is reached, an arm swings open and collects the right fish into a basket. There's a whole lot of different ways to make your own noodles. From this guy who's perfected the technique of slicing thick noodles onto a pole, to this guy who only needs his hands to whip up the perfect ramen. Or if you're really lazy, just get the Dough Stripper 2000 to do it for you. As hypnotic as this looks to cut multiple blocks of wood simultaneously, there's way too many bare fingers near a giant spinning blade for my liking. Despite how advanced our manufacturing has become, the majority of shoes are still mostly made by hand. It's a meticulous process of sewing, painting, and stitching on parts of the soon-to-be shoe. Stonewashing your jeans is so last decade. These days, high-powered lasers can create realistic stenciled designs in just seconds. This hay bale wrapper can lift, spin, and shrink wrap large bales way quicker than any farmer ever could. I just wouldn't want to see it accidentally picking up a cow. This factory takes hydro dipping to a whole new level, bringing in precision robots to dip a pair of water bottles for a perfect paint job. Making bow buns by hand is all fun and games if you're only cooking for two. This machine takes the hard work out of the prep, able to both mix the dough and cut perfect portions as they travel down the conveyor belt. Who knew the easiest way to move a massive ship to the water was by using these things? They better hope everything's lined up, because once it starts rolling, there's not a whole lot people can do to stop it. Can you guess what's being made here? Did you figure it out? Eventually, what you're looking at will be a sheet of see-through glass. Who needs a factory when this pastry chef can cut 300 croissants in under a minute? Four layers of stacked dough and this guy cutting at full speed is a sight to behold. This truck does the job of two when it comes to road repair. One section drops the hot molten tar while the rear lays down fresh gravel to make a brand new asphalt street in just minutes. This aloe vera processing plant turns the beloved succulent into a soothing skin cream. After sorting and slicing off the leaves, the jelly from inside is filleted and collected by some quick workers with knives. You might be surprised to learn that every plastic bottle starts off as a much smaller piece of hardened plastic before being stretched out and shaped into the design we all know and love. These bottles are then cleaned and filled with water before lids are attached and labels stuck on. This sorting process may look random, but it's a very highly tuned dance of conveyor belts that know exactly where to deliver the different packages to their respective boxes. Twinkies are a national treasure, just ask Woody Harrelson. I could use a Twinkie. The iconic treat starts as batter squirted into baked trays before vanilla cream is injected into the mix. After spacing and separation along a series of conveyor belts, the Twinkies wrapped, packed, and boxed for delivery.